Our reporter Sipamand Lagoge has been spending the day at the Mtembu home in Emalahleni. ANC Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte and ANC Treasurer General Paul Mashatile paid tribute to the late Mtembu. Sipamandla joins us live now. What did um, Treasurer General uh, Paul Mashatile say about uh, the late Jackson Mtembu? He said he was a hard man, an honest man, someone who spoke strongly against corruption. As a result, Paul Mashatile says the ANC will honor his legacy by fighting corruption. For years, the party's image has been dented by allegations of corruption facing some of their leaders and members. There are even court cases, as we speak, that are ongoing. So. Paul Mashatile was accompanied by the party's Deputy Secretary General, Jesse Duarte, here visiting Jackson Mtembu family. They said they were here on behalf of the party's National Executive Committee. Our viewers would recall that the ANC's National Executive Committee is still going on with its National Executive Committee, Le Hutla meeting, which comprises of alliance partners as well as the party's deployees to national, provincial and local government spheres. So those two leaders had to come here to pay their respects. My colleague Ling and Dabambi will show you what is happening in the background as we speak. I think that's the retired, I see the retired Director General Dr. Kesha Lubisi as well as uh, Dr. Gwen Ramahopa who is an NEC member of the ANC. She's working with the family of uh, Jackson Mtembu to prepare for this official funeral category number one that Jackson Mtembu has been granted by uh, the President. President Cyril Ramaphosa will tomorrow deliver the eulogy at Jackson Mtembu's funeral. Some, or should I say those ANC leaders who had visited the family are leaving now. But uh, what we can take from the visit by Paul Mashatile as well as Jesse Duarte is that they committed that the governing party will work hard to ensure that they keep the legacy of Jackson Mtembu alive, that they will protect what he stood for. They did say he spoke strongly against corruption and that is something they will continue continue to speak strongly against and they will ensure that they fight against corruption in honor of Jackson Mtembu. Perhaps let's listen to Paul Mashatile. We want to say today uh, farewell, my brother. Uh, he always called all of us Brur. Uh, so we say farewell, Brur. Uh, we will continue to do what you were committed to do. Many of you will know that Jackson was also outspoken against corruption and we as African National Congress will make sure that uh, we continue to fight corruption to ensure that all those values that Comrade Jackson stood for, all those commitments are carried forward. We will never disappoint him. Sipamandla, in remembering the character, humility and the legacy of Minister Jackson Mtembu, Jessie Duarte also said that she can very well understand that community members, ANC members, South Africans across the country would want to go to his home to pay tribute. Uh, both she and uh, Paul Mashatile implored uh, South Africans, however, not to try and attend the funeral unless they are on that guest list. And this specifically because we're in the time of COVID-19 and because we need to try and, and save lives and we know that funerals are super spreader events. Uh, the memorial has also been moved to Monday. Does that have some connection? Well, not necessarily, but earlier on we did interview Jackson Mtembu's brother, Michael Mtembu, who told us that after consultation with the presidency, they had to move that memorial service to Monday because according to Michael Mtembu, the deputy president, David Mabuza, was not available uh, today to deliver that uh, keynote tribute at the memorial service in Swane, so they had to move it to Monday. But the funeral service continues tomorrow, which or whereby the president, Sir Ramaphosa, will deliver that eulogy. Let me tell you that police and ANC leaders have been having a very difficult time to try and keep people at bay. Many people have been coming here trying to 
basically go inside the family or should I say inside the home of the Mtimbus there to pay their respects but they've been unable to do so. I'll ask my colleague again Ling and Abambi to show you on my left that's where people have been encouraged to drop off their flowers, leave their flowers. There is a picture there of Jackson Mtembo and then many people have been driving through this street to come and drop off those flowers. There have been motorcades that have been happening since yesterday. Some of the workers and leaders of the entities that Jackson Mtembo worked with and presided over, they had a motorcade here yesterday and then they also dropped off their flowers outside his home because they couldn't go inside because of the COVID 19 regulations and restrictions. Even today, we saw the ex uh, Robben Island political prisoners doing the same thing here. They had a motorcade. They said they were here to honor one of their own, a freedom fighter, someone they interacted with. I spoke to some of them. They told me that they are very sad by Mr. Mtembu's passing because he recruited some of them in this area to fight against apartheid. We will show you what is happening on my right here. There is a tent that has been put up by the Mpumalanga Department of Health where you have health care workers and people who are screening and registering everyone and anyone who comes through. They take down their details, they check their temperature, they sanitize them, and this is done in order should there be any need or any reason for a follow-up or to do what is called contact tracing. It will be easier to check the records, who was here, and they've got the details. So remember, Jackson Mtembu was the face of government communications when it comes to the issue of messaging for COVID-19. He used to chair those interministerial committee briefings, those briefings by the National Coronavirus <laughs> Command Council, and during those briefings, he will urge South Africans to adhere to the strict COVID-19 protocols and regulations. So his family together with government that he served. They are trying by all means to ensure that people adhere to that. Hence, Jesse Duarte, the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, was urging people not to come out in numbers, saying it would not be good for their own lives, for the Mtembu family members, and for the general people of South Africa, like you've already alluded, that funerals are regarded as super spreader events. So he did, or should I say, she did urge the people of Malafeni to say, despite their eagerness to come out in numbers. Please stay at home. But she also urged the media fraternity to say, we understand that you worked with Jackson Mtembu. We send our condolences to the media fraternity, but also do adhere to strict COVID-19 protocols and regulations. Let's listen to Jesse Duarte. The ANC will be having a memorial service for him on Monday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it will be virtual, and uh, you know, there many people have asked us to participate. And I, I, I want to say something to the media as well. You know, Comrade Jackson did everything in his power to create um, relationships between the ANC and the media. And even when there were strong views about the media, he would be a door opener and say, reach out, they, are the, they speak through them. Uh, they might not understand you, but speak through them. For many young journalists I've met in the last couple of days, uh, we also, you have our sympathies as well. Some have said they've lost a father. Some have lost a friend. So, you know, he was a very special person. And um, we can't... Uh, you know, you can't really express how you feel in, in words. It's not so easy. Thank you very much. Uh, Sipa Mandla Gogoi coming to us from Emalathani.